Welcome back everybody, this is Derek with Overwater Overland. This weekend we are in Big Cypress slash Everglades. So stick around to see what kind of adventures we have, because they're going to be fun. going in to get our ORV tags. A couple of rubies hanging out here. National Park Service headquarters for the Everglades. I'll show you a map of where we're at. So we are here we are here and this is Everglades City. We're going to come down here for a little bit and we're going to camp here tonight and we're going to camp up here tomorrow. There we go. We got our permit. Our partners are getting their inspection and uh, then we'll be ready to go. I think you can do both. What I read is that it either has to be on the window or it can be on the, the front bumper. The front bumper is what I read. at the gator hole we're gonna have lunch look at that big old gator hide Ooh, doggy freezing freaking cold here 50 degrees hey look at this guy hey what's up bro high five All right. I might get a Cuban sandwich. Today's probably the first day I'm drinking a beer in Florida where the bottle is not sweating outside. Because yes. it's cold. How cold is it? It's really cold. I got on my it's North Face Michigan it's 59. jacket. 59. 59. 59. <laughs> it's not cold. It's 59. Yeah, the bottle ain't got one drop it's of sweat. It's all relative, I guess. <laughs> you kind of blew it for me there. It's no all way. relative. Relative. That's fair. We've got ourselves a log jam on the loop road. We've got Karen and Sandy behind us. We got a lot of potholes. Hey, buddy. This would be a reason not to take Ella out. Look at that, Karen. I think if there's one, there's another one. <laughs> Holy crocodile. Is it a crocodile? No, it's not a crocodile. <laughs> a gator eater. Oh my. I got nothing to say. You got nothing to say. Look for more gators in the dirt. <laughs> Let's see. Well, they'll be just eyeballs in there. You'll just see eyes. Not seeing nothing? No, that doesn't mean they're not there. They're somewhere, trust me. Hold on, 
another one right here. Look at him. Oh yeah, look at that boy. If there's sun, there's a gator. That thing, that thing's every bit of six foot now. It's a small one. Here. How big was it? At least six feet. Six feet. And it was a Yale one. It's just extra small. What do you think? Yeah. Oh yeah. Look at Karen found another one. He's tiny. How oh, tiny? Was he spiky? Tiny Tim. No, he was at least still six feet. But he was skinny. He was hungry. Hungry, hungry, hungry. Hungry. He was hungry. Springs and bump stops gonna make a big difference, right? That was a twofer. Here we got camp set up. But then the next one was like a double wide. Karen and Sandy and yeah, Kieran. And that was great. So it's Karen, I mean, Karen, and Sandy. Yeah, really bad storm. You can see they got a Jeep. Is that a JL or a JK? JL. It's a JL. But I didn't have to. Yeah, I don't know the difference because I'm not a Jeep guy. I think the JK is a little longer. He's got the roof nest. He's got the the wedge you can see he's got kayak brackets up there he's got a nice little kitchen set up back here he's getting ready to cook but we're not hungry yet so he's prepping we got a we got a nice fire going thanks to yours truly pulled out the old dewalt Started cutting things up. I brought some wood, but it uh, doesn't hurt to get some off the ground here. So there's one other, two other, there's a couple other people here. The guy, the guy here at the campground said this is going to be full tonight. So we'll see. Tomorrow? Tomorrow. What are we doing tomorrow? Oh, we got some fun tomorrow. Oh, yeah. We're going on a... Uh, airboat ride tomorrow if you notice we did not bring Ella with us uh, we have a dog sitter that is sitting both our dogs and Kieran and Sandy's dogs so um, they are in for some fun this weekend but yeah so we're uh, we're just out checking it out stick around this, this is this top lunch no good it's a serious camp dinner here mm-hmm Food. That's a lot of food. <laughs> it's a lot of food. Oh it my really gosh. is. We're never going to eat it all. It's okay. Remember, you need it. It keeps you warm. Right. Oh, right? yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll the, just bring it in the tent with me and just eat all night long. No, the guy we were watching today. Gotta right. Eat. He said, eat before you go to bed because your your body metabolizes oh. and generates heat. Wow. Outdoor, outdoor gear. You guys are going to be set for a few days. We're going to be set. <laughs> yeah. We're not going to be cold. Yeah. Well, we'll be set and, and in bed at seven. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> all right. All right. We're going right. to throw ours on there and we're yeah. good to go. Karen and Sandy had brought their Blackstone griddle, which was really fun to use. Uh, it was the first time I cooked on a Blackstone. I really enjoyed it. Uh, it actually kind of prompted me to start looking into some sort of a griddle for our own use while camping and overlanding. The one thing I would look at for ourselves is that I would want something a lot smaller, 
So I'm thinking a portable cast iron griddle that'll go over top of the Jetboil Genesis and then I can run both burners. This was fun to cook on. We Our sandwiches turned out absolutely delicious. Uh, we did pre-cook the, the stuff at home, however, and uh, that helped kind of just speed along the process. And you can see, just look how golden brown those are. And they, they were just absolutely delicious on the on the Blackstone. Perfect heat. Uh, the thing cooked like a dream. So we'll be looking into doing some sort of a griddle. It's just not going to be to this magnitude because I'm trying to keep the weight and space uh, under control. And adding a Blackstone probably a lot more weight than I care to add. Hi girls. Hi. <laughs> well, you got you got a you got a hot you got a hot mic. Oh, oh you are here. Oh, we might have been here. Delete, delete, delete. You got a hot mic. Yeah, be careful what we say. Okay, let me yeah. see about this. I'm gonna put this right here. It's a little bit easier for you to not lose it, and it's right under you. I could do another fashion statement with how many clothes. We'll have to do. Oh. That. Well, of course now. All right, so we're getting ready for the gator ride. Gator ride, or I don't know, what are we doing? Oh, air buggy ride. Air, what the hell do they call these things? Yeah, air boat. Air boat tour. Yeah, we're going on an air boat tour with Captain Jacks in Everglades City. Uh, we didn't pick Captain Jacks because of any specific reason other than we drove by it before we went to go drink. <laughs> and it was, looked like the reputable place right here, so. We picked it. And they got a fleet too, man. They got a whole fleet of boats down here. So, um, what's that? I said I'd like to drive an airboat. Sandy wants to drive the airboat. Well, you might be able to. But I'll tell you, Everglades City was kind of like a hidden gem. We didn't know what it was going to be like. We came down here and it's an amazing looking place. It's, it, it's not what I expected to be in the middle of the Everglades. It's a uh, probably a prime vacation destination. Everybody's shaking their head. Especially if you want, you know, alligators. Oh yeah, yeah, and there's gators, big freaking gators down here. Put, put the girls in the front. No, no, no. I put, want right next to you. So oh, Karen wants to be right next to me. You guys, you okay. guys are officially YouTubing. I'm just. Oh no.
that the last boat you were driving? Oh boy. Looks like a Cuban chug lost its way. Guys have lost a for about a half an hour now. <laughs> we weren't lost. Did you guys have a good time? That was awesome. That was, that was great, wasn't it? Oh my gosh. Yeah. Just like to thank you so awesome. much, very much for coming. And Karen's over here uh, trying to figure out how she can leverage the swamp. Right. Yeah. <laughs> well, we'll just leave it at Literally, that. You're right there. We're just going to leave it there. How the swamp could be your best friend or your worst nightmare. <laughs> So, all right, hey man, we're gonna, I don't know what we're gonna do, but uh, well, we're, gonna stick, get undressed. we're gonna get undressed first, and then uh, maybe we'll go over to the petting zoo and pet some crocodiles. We'll see. If you're thinking about doing an airboat ride, check out Captain Jack's here in Everglades City. They got a pretty good fleet. They got good boats. It was a fun time. And I'll tell you what, if you're just looking for a place to come hang out, Everglades City's got RV parks, some vacation rentals, pretty nice place. I would give it a look-see. It's uh, someplace Karen and I are probably gonna look to come stay for a couple nights. So now we're off to go to the alligator petting zoo. We made it over to Wooten's. This is where we go to pet the alligators. So we're gonna go check that out. Uh, I'm, I'm steal gonna we'll steal some picnic tables. Oh, oh. For firewood. For firewood? Oh yeah, we need firewood too. But we're gonna pet the alligator and I'm gonna count their teeth. <laughs> All right, check it out. Here we go. Don't smoke the animals. That means you can't eat them after you barbecue. All right, here we go. Is this, is this a river otter in here? So it says. Uh, I'm, nope. North American river otter. He done gone away. Going on that, like, Ooh, that's an American croc right there. Ooh. Look at that. Yeah, well, that's a croc, not a gator. It's a crocodile. Baby crocodile. You lazy. Hi. Laying there sunning. We should know how old it is, right? If it's a male or a female, they grow a foot a year. I don't know. For the first six years. Yeah. Oh my good lordness. That's another one. Wow. This is look at that one. Wow. Dude. I guess that one was six years old and this one. That's a fat older. dude. That looked like it just ate a dog and a cat and a human. Alright, I think we gotta be over here guys. Okay. Here we go. This is a don't stick your hand in there sign. All right. <laughs> yeah, that sounded pretty convincing. Jeez, a pizza. Once at six foot, no his way. growth will slow down, but he never stops growing. Oh. Now, the males, they grow about one to six inches a year, getting from 11 to 15 foot, and weighing over 1,000 pounds. Holy shit. Well, oh, okay. So I, I was over there watching that guy. I feel like it's a, a Joe Exotic type thing. There's a gator. There's one over there. And there's a whole pile of them way across there. Sunning. Yeah, this is this is so much Tiger King bullshit. I never would have thought. Joe Exotic action. So what do you think of the Gator show so far? Charlie. Charlie did a good job. He was a good actor. He was a good actor. 
Harley did good. Does this kind of remind you of a famous TV show yeah. pre at the beginning of COVID? Yeah. It does. Think about it. <laughs> with big cats. With big cats. big cats. This is a lot like that, only with gators. Yeah. Looking good, honey. Hey, baby. What's up? So this is a little bit of the swamp here and it just looks really cool and I don't know that the camera is going to catch the beauty of it but it's really unique because it's dry land dry land and then it's kind of wet up through the middle there guys it's like dinner yeah i know hey so here we go this is uh gator gator head goes around this little body of water over here next to us So this is not too bad. Gator head, something like that. Gator head. Yeah, you could come in here. It's a quaint little place. Not too active. Looks like there's some day use going on in here. Use the NPS, or no, rec.gov, I think it is, rec.gov to reserve this. So Karen, you were talking about the four wheel drive. That's a red marker that says closed right there. Mm -hmm. So basically some of that training it just tells you about that. Like you need to get a raise of sign. You know yeah. that closed means yeah. not open. Yeah. Howdy. Hi. No, we're pulling into the pink Jeep. Well this is it. This is it. Just letting you know we're in the campground.
recovered in dust, so I had to stop and actually remove one of the lenses and clean it. 115, 16, that's us. So. Okay, so, okay folks, we made it over here to Pink Jeep Campground in Big Cypress National Preserve. There's the bison with the 23-0. Karen's up there opening it up, getting things so it'll air out a little bit from this morning. It was a little damp. Hi, honey. Hi. <laughs> she still got... Still got a beanie on her noggin. Yeah, I do. <laughs> yeah, looks like you got it. Look at, oh, look at her go. Yeah, she's get, this. she's got this. I can't see, but I got there it. you go. Once you do one, it's easy to do the other. And then we got Kieran and Sandy. They're kind of snuck back in here a little ways. Rolled the Jeep up in the bush here. Kieran's getting his rig all put together. There's cute, a uh, few campsites over this way. Big area. If you got a group of people, this would be a place to come. You got bear boxes. So you put your food in here. Who do not have an enclosed vehicle or hard sided RV to store their food and toiletries, you just throw your boxes and stuff right in there. And it has a padlock on it too, so if you're so if you're here for a few days and you're gonna leave, you just lock it up. And then the trash works the same way. So it's pretty cool. It's got a pit toilet. Um yeah, this is a dozen or two campsites here, I guess. So this is where we're gonna call home tonight. On our Ah, three-day adventure. Look at that rig. Isn't she beaut? She's beautiful. I'll take linen. Uh-oh. Karen's ready for linen. Good morning from Pink Jeep Campground. It was a pretty comfortable night. I would say it got down in the low 50s. We got our uh, yeah. fire going. 39 degrees, in case you hadn't it did go down to 39? 39. 39 now. Excuse me, I was wrong. It got down to 39. <laughs> it's almost 8 a.m. and it's still 39. 8 a.m. and 39 degrees, and you can see we got a little fire to keep us warm here. Don't Karen, start, don't start, start yourself on fire. Karen's telling me. I wore me pink. To, yeah. I wore the pink Jeep. I'm color coordinating with the campground. Yeah, so. she's coordinated with the pink campground. Oh, yeah, so we're going to get some coffee and stuff going and get things buttoned up and head out today. It's a pretty nice little place. We did not see any bear, although there's lots of bear boxes and things of that nature. Let's keep your stuff safe. So what they do is they actually have two types of boxes. This box is for you to put your belongings in to keep the bears from getting to it, and that one's for your trash. And then that's the only uh, restroom here at the facility. And I must say that was a very clean, odor-free restroom. Pit toilet. Uh, comes in off the main road up there. Sign over there says do not interact with the gators. There was one other camper way back in the corner down there. And then there's us. So... Looks a little disheveled this morning, but that's what happens when it's this cold. So 39 degrees, folks. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and crack open the, what am I gonna do? Oh, crack open the jet boil and get some hot beverages going. Then we'll get some breakfast after we sit around the fire drinking our coffee. So, we're gonna be motoring out of here today and heading over to Miami. We got some stops and then we're heading back to the Keys, so. Look at us. 
look at us everybody we got cleaned up and I am in the passenger seat Karen is driving how's that I get a day off of driving we put her behind the wheel oh there were some turkeys just went up the, the way there some turkeys running up the road yeah there was a bear that came around our campground last night too now this Everglades or Big Cypress this is absolutely gorgeous back here um, I'm not going to tell anybody about it so keep shh, keep quiet we'll be heading back to the Keys in a bit We've got a few stops we're going to get some parts for the truck number one stop you see how happy mama is yay suspension parts well, all the equipment I've bought to keep her happy, I need stiffer springs. How's that? Yeah, right. right. Yeah, so uh, we're about an hour and a half from Miami. This is called Alligator Alley. Um, you need you need a license to come up into this area. You got to go get an ORV tag. So this is all gated. So don't um, come up here without getting your ORV tag and you can get on the uh, Big Cypress uh, website. Yeah. Oh, gator, gator, oh, gator. Yeah. Big gator. Yeah. Big gator. Wow. That was a big mother. It was like coming out to grow. Yeah. That might have been a problem. Do you see the size of that thing? They stopped. Yeah, it's huge. And it just moved back down into the water. Oh my gosh. I, I, don't, I don't think Karen. I don't think Karen's reaction to stop was quick enough. She just kept on a rolling. Well, the word on the street is you cannot get out of the ORV system to Highway 29, which really wasn't publicized. Very, very inconvenient. So you've got to go all the way back down to 41. So. Yeah, the, the map says no RVs beyond this point, but it doesn't oh, say that you can't access the highway. So, there's that. But maybe I'll see the gator coming back this way again. Yeah. Or the bear. Or the bear. But we got to go about 50 miles, or it'll feel like 50 miles, on two track to get back to where we were. So be forewarned, you have to exit. You have to enter and exit on 41. Right. Right. So, you're going to see some else. I just need to say I get some right. Yeah, Karen's going to get some wheel time. So, all right, I'm going to take a nap. I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. But thanks for joining us. Please share with your friends. Click the like button so this gets uh, pushed around on YouTube a little bit. And uh, if you wouldn't mind, go ahead and hit that subscribe so you can see our next adventure. We really appreciate your support. We love all of you. Have a good one.